Hi ladies, Ashley here from Glow Body Personal Training and today we are covering the five mistakes that you are probably accidentally, unknowingly making that are making your diastasis recti worse postpartum. So you might be just having just had a baby or maybe you're years postpartum and you just learned that you have a diastasis recti, which is separation of the rectus abdominis along the front of your abdominal wall that when left untreated will lead to the appearance of a lower stomach pooch, no matter how lean or how low you get your body fat percentage, which is extremely frustrating. What bothers me the most is that a lot of women are not being checked at their six to eight week postpartum checkup. They're getting all clear to resume exercise, jumping back into their pre-pregnancy workout routines, and then accidentally causing their gap to get worse because I can give you all of the best exercises in the world. Follow my 12-week post-pregnancy plan and I will progressively close your gap over the course of three progressive phases where exercises get harder every two weeks to avoid plateaus, help you burn fat, help you close that ab gap. And if you're doing those workouts, awesome. But if you are missing out on the everyday movement factors and you're accidentally making these mistakes all day, we are basically undoing the progress you're making in your workouts simply by the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis at home and with your baby. The number one thing that you're probably doing by accident is picking up your baby incorrectly. So what I do not want to see is, look at her, <laughs> is bending over like this. Notice my legs are pretty straight. I'm just hunched over at the back. All of my internal organs are pushing against my abs, causing lots of bulging right here, and then going to pick your baby up because you are doing that weighted, which is even worse than it would have been before. So instead, I want you to go at it in a squat position or a mini lunge. So my favorite is the mini lunge. So when you're going to pick up your baby from wherever she's crawling or getting away to, I want you to have one leg forward bent and one leg more down bent, pull baby to chest, and then stand up strong. Now you just reverse this when you're getting back down on the floor with your baby to do a diaper change or to play. So I'm gonna go over to diaper changing area, one foot forward, one foot's a little bit back, bend down into a lunge, and then I'll usually just sit here and change her diaper, and that's just, um, that's just a habit. And then you're pulling again, pulling baby to your chest as you stand up. So a very simple thing that you are probably doing in your everyday life and a really easy fix to prevent your diastasis recti from getting worse. The second mistake that is so easy to make is standing around in a posterior pelvic tilt. On your phone standing, you're gonna fall into that posterior pelvic tilt. What I want ideally is to imagine our pelvis to be like a bucket. If you start standing like this and you don't mean to because you're holding baby on your hip and it's easy, I know it is, I catch myself doing it all the time, it's easy to just push out your hips and hold your baby on one side or the other, pushing your pelvis forward. But what happens is we are getting stuck in this position and if this were full of water, it would just be dripping out one side and this is going to cause problems. This is going to make your ab gap worse. So a way to check yourself is to get your husband or someone that you feel comfortable touching your body and I want you to feel the front here. We're gonna feel the anterior superior um, iliac spine and it's the most bony point. So push down hard, you're gonna feel this here and then go around to the back almost parallel to it below the little dimple in our backs right here, you'll feel the posterior superior iliac spine. So basically, they should be pretty much in line with each other, except for women, we have a, just a slight half an inch tilt, so that's hardly anything, pretty much parallel. Now we know that there's a problem, is if this back spiny portion is definitely below the front portion. We know that you are, in a posterior pelvic tilt, you probably have some weakness going on in your lower back muscles that needs to be corrected. And this is so easy to fall into this movement pattern when you have babies, especially as they get heavy. Number three is actually the exact opposite of the posterior pelvic tilt. It's an anterior pelvic tilt, and I see this during movement. Walking like this, and then when you start running, you end up running like this. What this is doing, it's forcing your spine into a state of hyperlordosis and it's pushing your stomach out. The problem with this, besides pushing your stomach out on the sensitive um, linea alba, the abdominal wall that's already been compromised due to the diastasis recti, we're pushing our guts and our internal organs out. That's problem number one. Problem number two is that when we are 
moving in that pattern and think about how many steps we take per day, maybe 5,000, maybe 10,000. And especially when you start running, the problem is you cannot turn your glutes on when you're in this hyper extended position. So I want you to try it right now with me. I cannot tighten my butt. You just can't do it. But when you are in a neutral spine position, clearly you can clench your glutes hard. I want a neutral spine the way your glutes are firing. Now you will not be running as an upright person completely straight. What I need is a just very slight hair bend in the hips that leans your torso forward to be in that perfect running position with a neutral spine. So I'm just gonna show you really slow right here. This is what I'm talking. So there's a slight bend, gazes forward, not jutting your head forward, not reverting to the posterior pelvic tilt either. We just want a neutral pelvis. And it may sound um, difficult to think about while you're running, but I just need check-ins once in a while. So check in with yourself, say, hey, is my spine neutral right now or am I sticking out my butt? Because I'll tell you about 50 to 75% of women that I see running, they're accidentally sticking out their butt. And I just wanna be like, hey, you can get so much more power, speed, strength, efficiency, if we can just fix and correct that pelvic positioning to be in a more neutral alignment. The fourth thing that you're probably doing while you are nursing your baby is hunched over like this, and then being on your phone hunching over. You might be in the slouch position. She's like, why aren't you actually nursing me? We're causing bulging in the lower abdomen by leaning over, arching forward. Instead, I would love for you to use a nursing pillow or a regular pillow. Nursing pillows are definitely better. I will link my favorite one in the description below, but that's going to give you padding so that when you nurse your baby, you're taking pressure off your wrist, number one, we're not arching forward, and you're bringing her mouth to the breast versus you leaning over, having to bring the breast to her mouth. And that's going to prevent arthritis symptoms in your wrist that is really common postpartum. And then it's also going to keep a baby in a very comfortable, neutral spine position where she's not completely arched up, reaching for your breast, and where you aren't um, bending your thoracic spine at the top to reach baby. So we are keeping that diastasis recti safe while you are nursing. Number five movement pattern problem is sitting up like this out of bed or off your couch or off of the floor. It's even exasperated when you're over here nursing your baby and then you are sitting up as you hold your baby to get up and stand up. You're effectively doing a weighted sit up at the point, which is putting an excessive amount of intra-abdominal pressure against that sensitive abdominal wall, which is going to push your stomach out, creating a coning appearance, appearance between the rectus abdominis muscles and pushing it out. We want to avoid that. If you see it, be aware of it. Be like, okay, my stomach coned once. I need to make sure that I am more deliberate and mindful about pulling my stomach in during that movement if you ever do see coning. But the absolute safest way to get up out of bed or get up off the couch is just to log roll to the side. So if you are sleeping like this or on your stomach, I want you to log roll to your side. Using your hands, you are pushing yourself up. I've gotten the question, well, how do I get my baby up if I log roll to the side? Easy, you sit yourself up on your butt, use your arms, pick up your baby, and stand up off your bed normal. With an engaged core, we aren't just arching forward. So if you are in a recliner, we're leaning back like this, reading. Just use your hands to sit yourself up instead of using your abs to crunch yourself forward to do a setup. I do not want you to obsess if you have to do something that causes you to go out of any of these movement patterns. These are not rules. You are a flexible human being and you are what you do over time. So if you're constantly having poor posture and you're constantly nursing with the slouch that we talked about and crunching off the couch, yes, it's going to cause problems. If you do it once in a while, it's no big deal. Our bodies are designed to move in all the... It was absolutely a lifesaver for me this third time because Luke was deployed when Ava was five weeks old. Refreshing and rewarding to have that one little me thing to do. Um, that was just taking care of my body. And without that, there is no way I would have been able to get the progress that I did postpartum running Glow Body PT with a deployed husband and three kids at home. So if you need help closing your gap, I understand. I am here for you. I think you will absolutely love the 12 week post pregnancy plan. If you've done any of my prenatal workouts, then you're definitely the type of woman who is motivated and kind of likes to push herself. And that is who my 12 week post pregnancy plan is targeted for. These are not easy breathing, just stretching exercises all the time. I make you sweat, I make you work hard, deliver you results. 
I love you ladies so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.